Hey diesel fans, do you want your S400 to spool quicker? Here's a BorgWarner S400 turbo. Here's our Turbinator VGT housing. Here's the guts. This is our patented pivoting stator technology that fits into the exhaust housing. You can get this in a complete turbo or just the exhaust housing itself, which we can use your S400 turbo, put it into our housing, and you now have a variable geometry turbo that spools 400 RPM quicker. Okay guys, a, a customer sent his dyno results on his 2012 Ram 6.7 Cummins. He has a second gen swap with a BorgWarner S467.7 with a .90 AR. This graph shows the comparison of before and after our customer adds the Turbinator VGT housing to his S400 turbo. The dotted lines here reflect the horsepower and the solid lines represent the torque differences. The blue lines show his BorgWarner S467. The red lines show after adding our Turbinator VGT housing. Okay, I've added some measurements here on the graph as you'll see to help you better understand the comparison. Notice overall, that the VGT at the peak did have 18 more horsepower overall. But the big difference is down in the lower end. The biggest difference was with the VGT at 1865 RPMs, it had 312 horsepower more. The only change he made was adding the VGT housing to his Borg Warner S467. 1865 RPMs, it had 312 horsepower more. Mind you, this performance is in the drivable range where you're driving, towing, or during the shift points. Also, if you notice, the dyno appears to not record until 1500 RPMs. At 1500 RPMs, the turbinator is 150 horsepower greater than just the standard BorgWarner S467. So if we were to extend this graph back, you would see that the turbinator would make decent horsepower between 1200 and 1300 RPMs. Now looking at the torque numbers, the max torque difference of 873 foot-pounds happened at 1847 RPMs. At 1600 RPMs, which is where about you'd be driving at, there was 640 foot-pounds difference between the regular S467. That's huge. Here you'll see I matched where the dyno started recording the horsepower you'll see the turbinator was making 200 horsepower at 1500 RPMs. The regular BorgWarner turbo didn't make 200 horsepower until about 1900 RPM. That's a 400 RPM difference later. So it took 400 RPMs later to hit 200 horsepower with the regular BorgWarner housing. So the difference now at 1900 RPMs was 302 horsepower. So the customer told us that adding the Terminator VGT housing made his truck more drivable, more enjoyable. It made it like a stock driving truck. And that's from a S400 turbo. Now towing with the Terminator versus the regular BorgWarner S467, the differences are huge. With a regular S400, you would be constantly downshifting because the horsepower is so low below 1900 RPM. And forget about pulling grades because you'll be downshifting all the time with the S400. Where with the Turbinator, you will never have to downshift pulling a grade or a load up and over. If these two turbos were racing, the one with the Turbinator would have left the other one in the dust before his turbo would have even lit. It comes with the electronic version, which has exhaust braking, or the mechanical version. It works with diesel and gas engines, give us a call.